The last time it snowed where we live is in 2010, eight years ago. Uh, 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 uh. We had a couple snow days, had a Christmas vacation, had a couple work days, and now it's back to the bus. Not working on the windows right now because it's too cold to really do anything out there. But I came back to mess with this floor and I gotta give a shout out to my father-in-law, Bob Morris, who suggested that I use a heat gun to try and release some of that adhesive. I did that, it worked amazing. I'm actually using this heat lamp right now and I'll show you a little bit of my process. This has been sitting here for two or three minutes. You can see that the floor is mostly, well it's pretty cold. 34. Over here, it says warm is 100 degrees. So once this is all warmed up, she just pries away, which is so wonderful. As you can see, I had a lot more splintering, and it was a lot more labor intensive, and it was really causing some damage that I didn't want to keep causing. So thank you, Bob, for suggesting that, and also thank you to my wife, who insisted that I try it. That was such a pain in the butt to remove. But Justin has figured out his technique and he's going with it. New technique. Floor scraper, work lamp that happens to be really hot. Very different from how you've been doing things. When your body is just worn out, you have to come up with new ways. I pulled the sheet of this out of the bus. It's two square feet and it's two pounds, just about. Because the bus is seven and a half foot wide on the inside, and these little sidewalls are one foot, we have nine and a half feet by about 36 feet, which is approximately 350 square feet, which means that we removed 350 pounds of stinky rubber, which is really not a huge amount. But hey, we did something on the bus, you know? Sometimes you just have to do something on the bus. Like test your robot vacuum that you got for Christmas. Go d -butt. Yay, have fun cleaning. Have so much fun. Silver snake skin boots and where did you go wrong last night on Flatbush Avenue? You went looking for the answers there, now you're covering your clues.